Welcome to today's Lending Talk. My name is Reverend Ni Amushon, priest of the Diocese of Lagos West Anglican Communion. Let us pray. Spirit of the living God, we ask that you give all transfer your word to be preached. And give us faith as well in our hearts to receive the same. This we ask in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The theme for this short exhortation is God the Avenger. God the Avenger. And we shall be examining a verse of the scripture, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 6. It says, that no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any matter, because the Lord is the avenger of such as we also are forewarned and testified. Who is an avenger? An avenger is one who exact punishments or inflicts harm in return for an injury or wrong. And this is who God is to his people. Here, we saw Apostle Paul admonishing the brethren, the Thessalonians, to be weary of robbing, cheating, and defrauding others, warning them that God is the avenger. There is no doubt there are people who abuse us, rob us, cheat us, and even deprive us our benefits. Your own brother can be someone who will deprive you of your benefits. Parents can also do the same to us. Even in this country, we have men and women, bosses, governments, deprive the people of their benefits and those things that God has given to them. And because it looks like these people are helpless, they deprive them and cheat them of all that God has given to them. But there is a prophetic word of comfort for each and every one of us in Exodus chapter 14 and verse 14, which is a prophetic word for these diocese. It says, And Moses said unto the people, The Lord will fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. I want to say that it won't be long. It won't be long, and judgment will come upon those who afflict the people of God. God is the avenger of everyone. And soon enough, it will show up. I know it can sometimes be difficult to hold back. The tendency to want to take an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, particularly in the case of unjust ruling and attitude, is there for everyone. Somebody will want to defend his brother. Somebody will want to defend himself. But that's not the case for this year. The Lord said he is fighting our battles for us. The truth is this, that the faithful and the honest are easily taken advantage of, but he will give to everyone according to his work. The book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 18 says, Thou shalt not avenge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. Let us also see what he says in 1 Peter chapter 3 and verse 9. The word of God says, do not repay evil for evil. He said, or insult for insult. On the contrary, repay evil with blessing. Repay evil with blessing because to this you were called, so that you may inherit a blessing. The truth is God has a way of turning things around for good. For those who are ease, remember the life of Joseph. He was buffeted, discouraged. As a matter of fact, his coat of many colors was seized from him. He was put in the prison. They lied to his father. They sold him to, into prison. But what happened in the end? God turned everything around for his good. And I see that being your testimony too in the name of Jesus. Again today, a warning is coming to all who afflict others, rob and cheat. The people you afflict may look helpless, but the truth is their God is not helpless. Very soon, God will stand up for his people. He is the consuming fire. He's a roaring lion. You are now called into remembrance, repentance today. Second Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 6. He says, Sin, it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Let us pray. Spirit of the living God, we ask that you will turn the heart of your people to yourself. 
that those who afflict others may repent and be saved. And those who have been afflicted, you will give them comfort on every side. To the glory and honor of your name, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.